Back roll. Into a big spear into the corner. Big shoulder block. Luna looks like she's in trouble. Oh, that was a rake that in the eyes. That was a rake in the eyes. This Hellcat is vicious. The, a claw to a DDT. I mean, that, that, I can't work out what would be more painful. Never going to keep her down with that. Down, she, down goes Hellcat. Crowd really got behind that. That's it. Luna Rock's getting this loot and crowd riled. Here we come. Big clothesline. Huge clubbing clothesline. And another one. Ducks it. Follows through into a net breaker. Lovely swinging net breaker there. This could be it. Oh, we got two. Oh, just at two. Oh, to the knee. And a kick and to the, the back, back of the head. head. I can tell you that. It's very painful. A kick to the back of the head. Yeah, you found that in the enziguri, didn't you? I. You can be quiet. Okay. You're meant to be impartial. I don't work for the post office. Oh, big wow. Samoan drop there. All the way from Samoa, that one. And another kick out. That's so Hellcat is not only vicious, but she's got intestinal fortitude. Okay. I thought you said something else. That's fine. No, intestinal. Gotcha. Intestinal. Gotcha. Oh, testicular fortitude. Ah, uh, that's what I thought that's you said. Okay. For the men later oh. on. Right, gotcha. If she had that, she wouldn't be allowed in this match. That's what I thought. I'm glad you clarified that. Moving on. We've got a bit of a counter. Oh! Back elbow. Front face lock. Are we going to get... Oh! Are we going for a fisherman's type? Fisherman's, no. Short arm clothesline by Hellcat. I mean, she may not look the size, but the power behind that clothesline was like from her big heavyweight wrestler, that. I think it's to do with the viciousness of this cat. Oh, up the ropes. This cat's got some claws. Oh, like a big Spring climb. Bringing bulldogs. Bring yeah. Bringing bulldog for out of the corner. Using this that could momentum. Be over. Oh, Hellcat still in it. could have had her there. Got a hook her leg. Still in it. For somebody with as much experience as this Hellcat has, you've got to hook her leg. Another go behind with a leg sweep. This Luna loves her leg sweeps. We're there, lining her up again. Oh, that's wow. bad. What a maneuver. Fisherman's leg breaker. Incredible. Wow, what a match. Ladies and gentlemen, Snow! 
This microphone's going to be the death of me, I think. I might end up losing my voice by the second half. You'll be glad of that, wouldn't you? Definitely. So here we are. The massively experienced snare versus hometown boy Strider. I mean, saying hometown boy from Luton, that's not exactly the greatest of praise. It's over there. Ding, ding. I lost my frying pan. I forgot my frying pan. Well, that's not the ladies' match. You're so sexist. No, no, I'm not saying anything. You're putting that in your, like you're saying it. You're filling in the blanks. I never said that. Aha, box clever. Box clever? Correct. Fair enough. Do you want to call this? So Strider's come out of the block really fast. Wow, a pop-up right hand. I've never seen that before. I mean, that's actually very clever because he didn't punch him. Punches is, are illegal in wrestling. He just let him fall on his fist. Exactly. That is a genius move there by Snare. Only you'd find it genius. It's genius. still a right hand. Genius. Genius. Ah, oh, but it wasn't clever. Good reference. <laughs> Anybody think I pay attention to wrestling shows? Going for it. I mean, what an amazing story that would have been if he lost there. That would have been brilliant. I would have loved it. Hometown boy loses after power slam. Great. Good. I mean, have you ever seen any of these two wrestle? You got any stories for us? I mean, I've only ever seen Snare a couple of times. Well, I do actually. Now, Snare, all joking aside, people don't give him his credit. I've seen this man do some phenomenal things. He's a big man. And don't let the perception of what he looks like versus what he can do. I mean, this man I've seen stand on his head. I've seen this man do cartwheels. I've seen this man do some phenomenal athletic uh, prowess. But well, the, you can't take anything away. I mean, he stands well over six foot tall. He's got to be close to 340, 350 pounds. I mean, when he hits you, you're going to feel it like a freight truck. I mean, that's actually probably the best description. And oh, blocks it. Oh, what's <laughs> catches him? It I love was, it. Snare was just waiting. Killed wow, him. Wow, massive German suplex. Do you know, for that case, that was so big, I'm going to call it the Luton Plex. Hit him with a good big, big Luton Plex, you know. Pick up that pile of rubbish, throw it away. Oh, two count. 
I really thought that was over. And I think this crowd did as well. I th the crowd, that's it. The, the crowd have gone mild. They absolutely died. One German suplex. Oh. Now our referee there, Mr. Anton Green, getting in there, showing his authority. He has till five, as they say. Snare using all of the rules, all of the ropes to his advantage. Just picking him That's up. So, wow. He's just not there. Massive throw again. I know Luton Boy doesn't look very heavy, but that's still a human being. He was managed to deadlift a guy. You can see the frustration in Snare's face though. He's a bit like, mm, I could, maybe I'm just going to put some more. There's only, on. there's only a few of those that the human body's going to take before it completely shuts down. That's very true. Listen to that crowd now. Maybe we don't need a Strider. Maybe we need an Aragorn. I'll go with that. I mean, the King of Gondor must return. I mean, Strider, what a weird name. I mean, why would you call yourself that? Well, I'm going with the fact that he was a Lord of the Rings fan. Again, why would anyone publicly admit that? I mean, from what I remember, his, his shining wizard used to be called Gandalf. I mean, in fairness, I get that reference, and I'm not going to let you get away with that. That's a terrible reference. So moving on. Wow. Oh, my God. Suplex. The feet are nearly on the mind ceiling. Mind the lights. Mind the lights. Massive stalling suplex there. Good man, Snare. I mean, let's just clarify. I've just realized this guy's apparently a Lord of the Rings fan and comes from Luton. He might as well just lose now. Just just be a loser for the rest of your life. You're, you're coming up with lots of reasons to hate this guy. I mean, I love Lord of the Rings. Massive fan. I'm a Gimli fan, me. Can, is, seriously, is there anyone I can commentate with except you? Is there anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, that's all right. I mean, I get up and leave you alone while I go and do the ring announcing. I mean, if I know anyone that's got a Lord of the Rings tattoo, I mean, I don't want to be friends with that guy. I mean, if, seriously, if you got a Lord of the Rings tattoo, that is so lame. I know at least one guy with a Lord of the Rings tattoo, and I know you already don't like him, so I don't need to bring up his name. But moving on, this guy's got a Batman tattoo, and I mean, that's pretty lame. It's pretty lame. a Marvel fan too. Oh, Strider's fighting back with some huge forearms. Wow! And Full Nelson into... Wow! Full Nelson into a German suplex. I mean, I was having a bit of fun earlier, but actually there was a very serious wrestling match going on. Strider's just getting thrown around like a rag doll. Poor what lad. What's Snare snetting him up for? I see a Vader bomb coming. I've seen him do this before. Oh, no. I mean... If this doesn't make you want to lose your dinner, I don't know what will. I mean, I'm having fun about him. It's like, oh, he's a loser. But seriously, this could actually really cause some damage. Oh, my God! Did you hear? Did you hear the ring? There's a couple of ring bowls snapped underneath there I now. Mean, my chair moved an inch. We're nowhere near the ring. <laughs> Big Insiguri. <laughs> Running what? knee. It's got snare rocking. What's about to happen? Snare using the big power there, spinning him around on the buckle. Just setting oh. him on the top, and oh. another big forearm. Big forearm to the face. What is it going to take for Strider to put Snare down? I mean, what's great is that he showed a little bit of fire there. He was, he's still in it, but Snare, oh my God, the big man is going up. I guess are, we, are we going to see a superplex? I mean, seriously, whoever owns the ring, I don't think they're going to be very happy about this move that's about to happen. We've already got a couple of broken poles from the Miss Vader bomb. Strider's fighting out of it. I mean, is this ring reinforced? Because it, oh, oh, that's oh. down to a knee. He's rocked. He's rocked. Strider's gonna fly. <laughs> Big missile <laughs> drop kick. Here he is. This Luton crowd are going mental now. It's like they want Strider to win or something. Well, it's about time someone wins. From Luton. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Luton at the top of the league. Through cheating. Oh. Goozled. He was lining him up for the Shining Wizard. Oh no, don't put it through the ceiling. Oh, pop up. He's fighting out of it. Looked like he brought him down into a face breaker. I think he maybe did. Maybe some sort of code breaker, I maybe. I think he did. Knee to the side of the head. Oh, that was very close. 
Not sure who got the worst on that exchange, but both men, Strider's getting up first. Snare's struggling now. I, I can't believe what we're seeing. This crowd are fully behind the Lord of the Rings fan for no reason. He's from Luton. Oh, right, sorry. Lining up, Shining Wizard time. Gandalf the White. Oh no, he's in the ropes. He's got to drag him away from the ropes. This, That's oh no. Be a waste of a lot of energy and a lot of time. Oh no, the best move of the match and he can't capitalize. No. Oh, that was, was that close? Oh. That's Brass Nux. Oh no, he's going to ring the bell. Oh no, I think we've got a disqualification. Oh no. Let's hear what the official word was. Wait, what's that? No. No, Snare, no. I believe the quote is no, he's already dead. Wow. Wow. I know we've got a bit of a microphone problem, but I believe. Nope. We've got a bit of a microphone problem, but I believe Snare has lost the match through disqualification with hitting him with the brass knucks. Are we going to get the microphone? Is the microphone going to work? 